birth nativity origin nobility or reproduction of a newborn is a divine gift to mankind birth of an offspring is a turning point in one's life filled with happiness and expectations we take this opportunity to congratulate you all on your decision to undertake this holy task pregnancy is a delicate and a defining period in a woman's life pregnancy of a woman is a precious moment for her and her family there is growing awareness about the well-being of the next generation today every mom and dad to be aspires for an intelligent and healthy child for more than a decade now research and development projects on garbha sanskar are being carried out by sai social and medical foundation after years of hard work and research dr ashish borkar and dr gauri borkar founders and directors of sai social and medical foundation have meticulously designed garbha sanskar workshops and these workshops are successfully conducted all over in modern medicine fetology has emerged as a super specialization branch fetology deals with the comprehensive study of the fetus in the uterus enabling possibilities of removal of genetic defects in the fetus and enhancing the chances of the birth of a normal baby coinciding with this development in modern science growing awareness about ancient traditional garbha sanskar at this time is an agreeable opportunity in garbha sanskar our ancient sages have depicted medicines dietary and behavioral conduct and other means to be followed during pregnancy for healthy intelligent offspring devoid of any congenital anomalies and hence physical mental and spiritual wellness of the couple prior to conception is necessary before conception body purification is necessary for a healthy pregnancy and a safe labor body purification is done by panchakarma that is elimination of excess doshas out of the body as per prakriti or constitution of the couple herbal medication and following a recommended diet regimen This is followed by a gamete purification process for pure gametes by rasayan and vajikaran drugs. Process of gamete purification produces pure and healthy male gamete, sperm and female gamete, ovum, which after fertilization produces a wise, intelligent and a healthy offspring. According to Ayurveda, physical and mental well-being are interrelated. Garbha sanskar deals not only with physical well-being but with mental well-being as well. period or time of conception plays an important role in the determination of prakriti that's constitution of the fetus as the constitution is formed at the time of fertilization season influences doshas which in turn have influence on the constitution fertilization and conception in a healthy season produces a healthy baby detoxification and rejuvenation of the couple along with gamete purification and mental well-being is necessary before conception for a healthy and an intelligent offspring ayurvedic texts have substantial references of code of conduct of garbha sanskar to the role of diet and behavior in the physical mental and spiritual well-being of an individual Ayurved has mentioned specific medicines and diet and lifestyle regimen for each month of pregnancy according to the principal events of embryonic and fetal development in that month. In fact, Garbha Sanskar is simply following certain dietary, behavioral and moral lifestyle regimen by the pregnant woman for better grooming and breeding of the offsprings. The word sanskar depicts transfer or change of form or transfiguration in properties of a substance in short the effort taken to enhance physical and mental status of the fetus is sanskar of the fetus which is garbha sanskar dr ashish borkar and dr gauri borkar have designed the garbha sanskar theory keeping in mind today's fast pace of life and modern lifestyle Garbha sanskar theory is grouped in three sections. First, preconception sanskar, second, antenatal sanskar, and third, postnatal sanskar that also includes medication, yoga, pranayam, chanting of omkar, conversation with the fetus, and mantra treatment. In this series, we are going to deal with chanting of omkar and mantra treatment. For more information about garbha sanskar, refer to the book Garbha Sanskar.
For more information on Garbha Sanskar medication, pranayam and yogasana, contact Garbha Sanskar helpline at 0982275830 that is 0982275830 for any queries mail us at drabokar at readifmail.com mantra mantra or sacred vedic hymn provides a protective barrier to man by mere reflection of the mantra such is the power of the mantra resolution is reflection of thoughts occupying one's mind psychology has proved that our thoughts are the index of fate in other words the reins of fate are controlled by our mind good thoughts create positive attitude and draw all energy to shape one's fate and vice versa a change of thought can change your destiny learn from the past toil hard in the present and reap in the future you reap as you sow concrete foundation of good thoughts and work can make one's destiny soar higher target your goal and aim it with devotion hard work and endurance and apply force of good positive thoughts mantras impart additional momentum to these thoughts mananat trayate iti mantra is a precious treasure of indian civilization having immense strength mantras if heard recited and pronounced with deep concentration wipe out negative thoughts and establish positive thoughts and attitude vibrations originating from mantras affect our body and internal organs vibes from a mantra interweave appropriate thoughts to form a chain in our mind brain and body which in turn have encouraging effects on the fetus today in spite of the world being at the peak of development it still has to face problems of pollution or impurity at both the atmospheric level and in individual psyche stress anxiety tension emotional instability competition are some of the major factors which are attributed to mental pollution mantras help to overcome these attributes by charging the mind with positive vibes which lead to mental well-being physical mental and spiritual wellness of the couple prior to conception is necessary for a wise noble intelligent and healthy offspring mental health is retained by chanting of om pranayam pious and pure thinking for overall physical and mental wellness chanting of omkar is of great help it helps to stimulate centers of the brain resulting in sound sleep and in keeping the brain energetic and maintaining a balanced state of mind accomplishment of omkar results in a peaceful and a firm mind and gears our mind to face any adverse situation vangame manasi pratishthita manome vachi pratishthitam May my speech establish in my mind and let my mind establish in my speech is the advice of the above Upanishad mantra. In other words, let there be unanimity in my mind and speech. Unanimity in thoughts and speech of a man tread him on the path of truth. Castles built on lies or on falsehood do not last long. Progress is hampered by lies and leads us nowhere. Mantra imparts us the strength to follow the truth. even if it is harsh every mother's cherished desire is to have an intelligent healthy bold wise and noble baby she inadvertently takes efforts at a physical and mental level for the same physiologically and obstetrically the mother and the fetus are connected or bonded with each other feelings thoughts desires of a mother are perceived by the fetus which in turn help to mold the mind of the fetus it has been proven scientifically that good or bad molding of the mind of the fetus depends on the nature of the mother mantras generate positive vibes in the mind of the pregnant woman and retain physical and mental health physical and mental health is interrelated 
Thus, a healthy body, mind and soul make a healthy constitution of the offspring. Let us now listen and chant mantras. Sit straight in a comfortable asan and concentrate with your eyes closed. Before starting any auspicious moment, an introductory prayer is offered to the benevolent Lord Ganesha to complete all proceedings without any obstacles and to ward off all evils. For overall development, progress and safe birth of the fetus, let us now pray to Lord Ganesha. Hey Lord, with a beautiful face, an enormous body and a luster equal to crores and crores of sun, I pray to you to complete my deed unimpeded. Bestowing all desires of heart, most excellent, fulfilling all wills. O benevolent Goddess Gauri, I surrender to you and worship you, O Goddess Narayani. It is believed that mother is the image of God. It is impossible for God to visit each and every house and hence God created his representative, the mother, who is equally loving, caring and has earnest longing for the betterment of her child. Children can be evil, but a mother is always an angel. So, such an excellent mother prays to the divine power Goddess Parvati for a healthy, intelligent, celebrated, fortunate and a successful offspring. Residing in all living beings, O Divine Goddess, you gift us endurance and liberation. Please accept our flowers offered with all praise to you. Sarva Bhuta Yada Devi Bhukti Mukti Pradayini Kalyano, Vidhehi Paramam 
Firmly residing in the heart of all beings in the form of intelligence, O Goddess, rewarding heaven and liberation, Hey Goddess Narayani, I adore you and I seek a blessing of sound intelligence for my baby. Sarvasya buddhi rupena janasya rudhi saunsthite Mantra is power. Invisible power has more influence than visible power. Chanting of mantras produces vibration, resulting in calmness of mind in the chanter. This enhances the rate of success in every deed he undertakes. The five elements Akash, Ether, Vayu, Air, Tej, Fire, Jala, Water, and Prithvi, Earth, are the basis of Mother Nature. These five elements represent God. An idol gains divinity by mantras. We can visualize God when we worship the idol which has these attributes and qualities. For a beautiful, prosperous and a good baby, let us now pray to the supreme powers Brahma, Vishnu and Mahesh responsible for origin, state, extinction respectively. शांताकारम भुजगशयनम पद्मनाभम सुरेशम विश्वाधारम गगन सदृशम मेघवर्णम लक्ष्मीका कमलनयन योगिभ्यानगम्य वंदे विष्णु भवभयहर सर्वोकनाथ मृत्युंजय महारुद्र सर्वसंकट निवारक ओ मृत्युंजय महारुद्र सर्वसंकट निवारक आरोग्यम आयुष्यं देहि मृत्युंजय नमोस्तु ते ओ मृत्युंजय महारुद्र सर्वसंकट निवारक आरोग्यम 
आयुष्यं देहि मृत्युंजय नमोस्तु देहो मृत्युंजय महारुद्र सर्व संकट निवारक आरोग्यम आयुष्यं देहि मृत्युंजय नमोस्तु देहो मृत्युंजय नमोस्तु देहो मृत्युंजय नमोस्तु I offer my prayer to one deity Datta Guru who symbolizes the presence of three divine powers Brahma Vishnu and Mahesh and seek his blessings for my baby being values a long healthy and a youthful life i offer my prayer to you o supreme dhanvantari the physician of gods who can destruct aging fear and death by giving various medicines o powerful god i seek blessings for my child's robust health namami dhanvantari aadi devam नमामि धन्वंतरी आदिदेव सुरासुरैर्वंदिता पाद पद्म नमामि धन्वंतरी आदिदेव नमामि धन्वंतरी आदिदेव के चरारू भय मृत्युनाशम दातारमिशम विविधौषधीना लोके चरारू भय मृत्युनाशम दातारमिशम विविधौषधीना नमा धन्वंतरी आदिदेव नमा धन्वंतरी आदिदेव Giving inspiration to our intelligence, O oh great Sun God, may my child be blessed with luster equivalent to yours. Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva, Sun, Moon, and Earth, may my dawn be full of happiness. Brahma Murari, Stripurantha Kari, Bhanu Shashi Bhumi Suto Guthasya, Guru Shya Shukra, Shani Rahu Ketava, Puravan Tu Sarve Mama Suprabhatam, Brahma Murari. त्रिपुरातकारी भानुशशि भूमि सुतो बुधश्च गुरुश्च शुक्र शनि राहु केतव पुरवंतु सर्वे मम सुप्रभात इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ द ऑलमाइटी ब्रह्मा ओ फीटस बी ब्राइट लाइक द सन एंड मे यू हैव अ लॉन्ग हेल्दी प्रॉस्परस लाइफ मे लॉर्ड ब्रह्मा प्रोटेक्ट यू फॉर एवर आयुरसी सर्वता प्रतिष्ठा से धाता
भगवत प्रतिष्ठासी धाता ओ हेवनली पावर्स ब्रह्मा जुपिटर विष्णु मून सन अश्विनी कुमार एंड वरुण ब्लेस मी विद ब्रेव चाइल्ड ब्रह्मा बृहस्पति विष्णु सोम सूर्य तथा अश्विनो भगोत्थ मित्रा वरुण वीर दद तुम्हे सुतम and installations protect you we pray to god to grant you 100 years of healthy life Almighty God, make no one sad. May all be happy, content, and lead a long, healthy life. Sarve pe sukhi na santu, sarve santu niramaya, sarve bhadrani pashantu ma kashchit dukha. We pray to the gods and the goddesses and beg for the well-being of our baby. Let us seek forgiveness for any mistake inadvertently done while chanting mantras. Avahanan na janami na janami tava chanam. जानामि क्षमस्मा परमेश्वर During creation of the universe the first sound produced was om 
Omkar is made up of three and a half matras. Three matras constitute a, u, ma, and half chandra matra. A has Brahma character, U has Vishnu character, and Ma has Shiv character. Chanting of Omkar is of great help for overall physical, mental, and spiritual wellness. Chanting of Omkar helps to stimulate centers of the brain, results in sound sleep, keeps the brain energetic, and maintains a balanced state of mind. Accomplishment of Omkar results in a peaceful and firm mind and gears our mind to face any adverse situation. Hence, Omkar helps pregnant women. While chanting Omkar, first inhale deeply and then exhale slowly and pronounce O by keeping the mouth open for the first three seconds. Then, Close your mouth and pronounce Ma, exhaling completely. Repeat this cycle for 11 or 21 times.
गर्भ संवाद कॉन्वर्सेशन विद द फीटस बॉन्डिंग और टू बिकम अ लाइक विद हर फीटस थ्रू कॉन्वर्सेशन इज टर्म्ड एज गर्भ संवाद सम लेबल गर्भ संवाद एज सेल्फ हिप्नोटिज्म और अ टाइप ऑफ मेडिटेशन feelings thoughts desires about the fetus are conveyed effectively to the fetus through garbha samvad procedure physiologically and obstetrically mother and fetus are bonded with the umbilical cord in the womb the fetus is nourished through his umbilical cord for 9 months and 9 days emotions and feelings are also conveyed to the fetus motive of garbha samvad is positively better conveyance of emotional vibrations from the mother to the fetus garbha samvad method if practiced daily in a scientific manner for 10 to 15 minutes is sufficient to gain results garbha samvad procedure is carried out in the following way the pregnant woman should maintain calm and quiet mind with positive vibes about the wellness of the fetus garbha samvad room should be dimly lit and pin drop silence is to be maintained bright light noise disturbance is a hindrance to concentrate and to attain a calm and quiet mind wear light loose cotton clothes remove hair pins safety pins specs watch and other accessories garbha samvad is performed in shavasan that is lying down in a supine position to begin with sit comfortably with a straight posture on a soft sheet spread on the floor First, do Anulom Vilom Pranayam, and consequently repeat the procedure three to four times. Then lie down on the sheet with hands and legs apart in a supine or left lateral position with eyes closed. Concentrate on breathing. Think about your baby in the womb. Avoid dropping off to sleep. To make a will is an impressive form of self-suggestion. This helps our conscience to have a good impression. Next step is to dictate commands to the body and the mind for relaxation in the following manner. Close your eyes. Turn your head to the left side. Concentrate your mind. Relax your body. You hear nothing around you. Keep your face calm. Eyelids closed. Your mind is at peace and calm. The mind has no thoughts. Concentrate within. Deep within. You can feel only your breathing you can feel only your breathing inhale exhale inhale exhale concentrate on your breathing Now focus your life and energy towards the uterus starting from the right leg toes first toe second toe third toe fourth toe the sole of your foot heel ankle calf knee thigh and then back to the uterus you cannot sense your right leg the same with the left leg toe first toe second toe third toe fourth toe the sole of your foot heel ankle calf knee thigh and then 
once again back to the uterus. You cannot sense your left leg. Both your legs have become weightless. You cannot feel the presence of either of your legs. Similarly, channelize energy from the trunk to the uterus in the following sequence. Head, chest, back and stomach. To become featherweight, now focus the energy of the right hand to the uterus in the following way. Right hand thumb, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, little finger, palm, wrist, forearm, elbow, arm, shoulder. Your right hand has now become as light as a feather. Now focus the energy of the left hand to the uterus in the following way. Left hand thumb, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, little finger, palm, wrist, forearm, elbow, arm, shoulder. Your left hand has now become as light as a feather. Now focus energy from the face to the uterus in the following manner. Forehead Right eyebrow Left eyebrow Center of both eyebrows Right eye Left eye Right ear Left ear Right nostril Left nostril Upper lip Lower lip Right cheek Left cheek And chin Energy of the uterus has increased by many folds. Concentrate on the fetus. Think about the concern for the well-being of the fetus and try to feel alike with the fetus. Oh. Oh. Fetus, may your bodily constituents, Tritosha, Trimala, Saptadhatu, maintain balanced equilibrium. May your mind, soul and sense organs be always happy and content. May you dutifully follow the principal four objects of life, religion, wealth, desire and absolution. May your sense organs and structural and functional organs develop and grow superiorly. May your mental attributes like memory, retention power, intelligence be of superior quality. Your body constitutes of Pancha Mahabhuta, the five elements of life, 
may the essential qualities of pancha mahabhuta sound touch appearance taste and smell manifest better may you attain a long healthy life and great attributes like courage forgiveness heroism morality fame intelligence and sharp memory your body and mind are in a developing phase let me contribute my positive vibrations for your creations my dear baby we welcome you into this beautiful world om again command your relaxed body and mind in reverse sequence to attain a normal condition channelize the energy from the uterus to both the lower extremities thigh knee calf ankle heel sole toes now you can feel both your lower extremities then order your mind to regain a normal sensation in your stomach chest back and upper extremities channelize energy from the uterus to both upper extremities shoulder arm elbow forearm wrist palm fingers now you can feel the presence of both your hands now channelize energy from the spinal cord to the neck throat chin cheek lips nostrils ears eyes center of eyebrows eyebrows forehead now you can feel your body place both your hands on your stomach and give blessings to the fetus can you sense any response or sensation from the fetus concentrate and you might gain a response or sensation from the fetus your eyes turn to your left side slowly wake up sit up place both hands on the stomach experience the soft touch of the fetus shubham bhavatu shubham bhavatu shubham bhavatu To ensure the correct hearing and recitation of the mantras let us listen to them once again Look 
ಅಗ್ರತುಂಡ ಮಹಾಕಾಯ ಸೂರ್ಯಕೋಟಿ ಸಮಪ್ರಭ ನಿರ್ವಿಘ್ನ ಕುರು ಮೇ ದೇವ ಸರ್ವಕಾರು ಮನಸ ಪಶ್ಯಂತಿ ಯೋಗಿನೋ ಧ್ಯಾನಾವಸ್ಥಿತ 
ತದ್ಗತೇನ ಮನಸ ಪಶ್ಯಂತಿ ಯೋಗಿನೋ ಯಾಂತನ್ನ ವಿದು ಸುರಾಸುರ ಗಣಾದೇವಾಯ ತಸ್ಮೈ ನಮಃ ಯಾಂತನ್ನ ವಿದು ಸುರಾಸುರ ಗಣಾದೇವಾಯ ತಸ್ಮೈ ನಮಃ ಯಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವರುಣೇಂದ್ರ ರುದ್ರ ಮರುತ ಸ್ತುನ್ವಂತಿ ದಿವ್ಯೈಸ್ತವೈ ಯಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವರುಣೇಂದ್ರ ರುದ್ರ ಮರುತ ಸ್ತುನ್ವಂತಿ ದಿವ್ಯೈಸ್ತವೈ ಶಾಂತಾಕಾರ ಭುಜಗಶಯನ ಪದ್ಮನಾಭ ಸುರೇಶ ವಿಶ್ವಾಧಾರ ಗಗನ ಸದೃಶ ಮೇಘವರ್ಣ ಶುಭಾಂಗ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀಕಾಂತ ಕಮಲನಯನ ಯೋಗಿಭಿರ್ಧ್ಯಾನಗಮ್ಯ ವಂದೇ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಭವಭಯಹರ ಸರ್ಮಲೋಕೈಕನಾಥ ಮೃತ್ಯುಂಜಯ ಮಹಾರುದ್ರ ಸರ್ವಸಂಕಟ ನಿವಾರಕ ಓಂ ಮೃತ್ಯುಂಜಯ ಮಹಾರುದ್ರ ಸರ್ವಸಂಕಟ ನಿವಾರಕ ಆರೋಗ್ಯ ಆಯುಷ್ಯನ್ ದೇಹಿ ಮೃತ್ಯುಂಜಯ ನಮೋಸ್ತುತೆ ಓಂ ಮೃತ್ಯುಂಜಯ ಮಹಾರುದ್ರ ಸರ್ವಸಂಕಟ ನಿವಾರಕ ಆರೋಗ್ಯ ಆಯುಷ್ಯನ್ ದೇಹಿ ಮೃತ್ಯುಂಜಯ ನಮೋಸ್ತುತೆ ಓಂ ಮೃತ್ಯುಂಜಯ ಮಹಾರುದ್ರ ಸರ್ವಸಂಕಟ ನಿವಾರಕ ಆರೋಗ್ಯ ಆಯುಷ್ಯನ್ ದೇಹಿ ಮೃತ್ಯುಂಜಯ ನಮೋಸ್ತುತೆ
ब्रह्मा मुरारी स्त्रिपुरातकारी भानुशशी भूमि सुतो बुध गुरुश्च शुक्र शनि राहु केतव पुरवंत सर्वे मम सुप्रभात ब्रह्मा मुरारी स्त्रिपुरातकारी भानुशशी भूमि सुतो बुध गुरुश्च शुक्र शनि राहु केतव पुरवंत सर्वे मम सुप्रभात मया देवा परिपूर्णं 
Formulated medicines. Ayurved has mentioned herbal decoction for overall development of the fetus for each month. After years of research and study of Garbha Sanskar, Dr. Ashish Borkar and Dr. Gauri Borkar have designed and developed complete mode of remedy for Garbha Sanskar. They have formulated certain medicines for each month of pregnancy according to the principal events of embryonic and fetal development in that month. These medicines are effective in the overall development of the fetus and are easy to administer. Garbha Rasayan This medicine includes 12 different herbs formulated in the form of avleha like Chavanprash avleha. The word Rasayan in general means chemical, but the literal meaning of Rasayan as per Ayurveda is that which nourishes all the tissues of the body and maintains health throughout life. Garbha Rasayan enhances growth and development of the fetus which results in weight gain and better development of the brain. Dose can be taken from the first month of pregnancy, one teaspoon on empty stomach in the morning followed by beverages and food after half an hour. Narayana di Kalpa Narayana di Kalpa nourishes the fetus for development of various fetal organs and for fetal weight gain dose 2 teaspoons twice a day with milk Ridai Kalpavati for proper development and functioning of the heart it is suggested in the second, third and the fourth month of pregnancy recommended for women with a family history of heart disease Dose, half a tablet, twice a day, before meals. Mukta Shukti Yog Suggested in the second trimester, that is, the fourth, fifth and sixth month, for strengthening of hair and bones. Dose, a pinch of Mukta Shukti Yog, twice daily, along with milk. Garbha Varna Sudharak Yog Suggested in the 5th and the 6th month of pregnancy for clear skin and a fair complexion. Dose, a pinch twice daily with milk. Medha Kranti Vati, for fetal brain growth and development, acts as a brain tonic. Suggested in the 4th, 5th and 6th month. Dose, one tablet twice a day before meals. Masanu Masik Vati. Recommended for women with previous bad obstetric history and for women with high-risk pregnancy. Masanu Masik Vati includes different herbs for each month for development and growth of the fetus accordingly. Dose as per requirement in that particular month. One tablet twice a day with water after food. Garbhini Chardihar Yog Anti-emetic mixture Suggested in morning sickness. Dose Repeated use of a pinch of Garbhini Chardihar Yog Anti-stretch mark cream to prevent and minimize stretch marks Apply after the fourth month of pregnancy Along with these medicines, also follow the medication prescribed by your gynecologist Sutika Rasayan This medicine is given after delivery to restore the health status of the mother by preventing infections and promoting lactation it is mixed with dry dates and dry coconut sweetmeats. Dose 1 small sweetmeat helping before or after breakfast for one and a half month. Massage oil or abhyanga oil for the baby. Applying oil to the whole body is abhyanga. Abhyanga oil strengthens muscles and bones, increases blood circulation, 
keeps the baby's skin smooth and supple. Apply the oil to the baby before bath. Bal Rasayan This medicine can be given to the baby from day 1 till 6 years of age. Regular intake of this medicine enhances immunity of the child and develops sense organs, intelligence and retention power. Dose as per the age with honey before or after breakfast. Baby Soft Cream For the baby's smooth, soft and supple skin and to prevent a nappy rash. For further information and medical guidance, contact Garbhasanskar Helpline Mobile number 098-227-58330 That is 098-227-58330